People vs. Balbar, GR number L20216 and L20217, November 29, 1967. Elements of Acts of Lasciviousness Number 1. That the offender commits any act of lasciviousness, of lewdness. Number 2. That the act of lasciviousness is committed against a person of either sex. And number 3. That it is done under any of the following circumstances. A. By using force or intimidation. B. When the offended party is deprived of reason or otherwise unconscious. C. By means of fraudulent fascination or grave abuse of authority. D. When the offended party is under 12 years of age or is demented. The facts of the case. On August 20, 1960, defendant Apili Tiburcio Balboar allegedly entered the room where school teacher Estes Gonzalez, complainant, was conducting her classes. Without warning, and right after complainant had finished writing on the blackboard, defendant allegedly placed his arms around her and kissed her on the eye. Shocked, complainant instinctively pushed Balbar away and tried to flee. Defendant allegedly brought out his dagger and pursued complainant, catching up with her before she was able to get out of the room. Defendant embraced her again at the same time holding on to his dagger. They both fell on the floor, as a result of which complainant sustained slight physical injuries. The issue now is whether or not the accused is liable for acts of lasciviousness. According to the Supreme Court, the offense is direct assault. Complainant was a teacher, the information sufficiently alleges that the accused knew that fact since she was in her classroom and engaged in the performance of her duties. He therefore knew that she was a person in authority as she was so by specific provisions of law. What constitutes lewd or lascivious conduct must be determined from the circumstances of each case may be quite easy to determine in a particular case that certain acts are lewd and lascivious, and it may be extremely difficult in another case to say where the line of demarcation lies between such conduct and the amorous advances of an ardent lover. The presence or absence of lewd designs is inferred from the nature of the acts themselves and the environmental circumstances. In the instant case, Considering the manner, place, and time under which the acts complained of were done, even as alleged in the information itself, lewd designs can hardly be attributed to the accused. The factual setting, example, a schoolroom in the presence of complainant's students and within hearing distance of her co-teachers, rules out the conclusion that the accused was actuated by a lustful design or purpose or that his conduct was lewd or lascivious. It may be that he did embrace the girl and kiss her, but this of itself would not necessarily bring the case within the provisions of Article 336 of the Revised Penal Code.